Grace and peace be unto you from God our Father. When Joseph and Mary brought Jesus uh, into the temple, it was to fulfill the requirements of the law, and old Simeon was there waiting for them. Spirit-directed and spirit-inspired, Simeon prophesied over the infant. But it was a mixed and, and somber message. Simeon expressed joy for, for the dawning of the light of Israel and the world and the hope that was contained therein. But he also foresaw trouble ahead. The child would bring salvation, and, and this was sure, but, but he also, uh, Simeon sensed, would possibly provoke some kind of division. And Simeon said that Mary herself would experience piercing pain and sorrow in connection with her son. Those who celebrate, who celebrate Christmas with, with the whole Bible in mind can't help but, but to think where this story is eventually headed. There's plenty of rejoicing today, but suffering is on the horizon. Nothing captures that aspect of Christmas better than the traditional English carol, The Holly and the Ivy. Here are some of the words that come out of that. The holly bears a berry, as red as any blood, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to do poor sinners good. The berry represents the blood of Christ. The holly bears a prickle as sharp as any thorn, the crown of Christ, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ on Christmas Day in the morn. The holly bears a bark as bitter as any gall, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ for to redeem us all. So here we have somewhat of a foreshadowing of, of Christ and what's to come. At the same time, we're looking at, at the joy that we have. The carol's refrain paints a, a, a great medieval scene, the chasing of the deer at sunrise, organ music and sweet singing in churches. But the verses point to the holly's red berries, the sharp prickle, and the bitter bark. In other words, the blood, the thorns, and the gall, the cross, and the cost of our salvation. With all of these images, we've intertwined the life of Christ in an early Christmas story. The holly and the ivy, when they are both full grown, of all the trees that are in the woods, the holly bears the crown. The holly bears a blossom as white as lily flower, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to be our sweet Savior. The holly bears a berry as red as any blood, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ to do poor sinners good. The holly bears a prickle as sharp as any thorn, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ on Christmas Day in the morn. The holly bears a bark as bitter as any gall, and Mary bore sweet Jesus Christ for to redeem us all. The holly and the ivy, now both are full well grown of all the trees that are in the wood. The holly bears the crown. And after each of those verses we have, oh, the rising of the sun and the running of the deer, the playing of the merry organ, sweet singing of the choir.